Hey, what's going on guys? It's Buller here and welcome back to another video. Today we're actually on Player Unknown's Battlegrounds instead of World War II. We're not stopping the Call of Duty videos or anything, I just want to switch it up a little. Anyways, for this video I wanted to share some tips for winning solo matches on the desert map Miramar. The map's been out for about a month now and I've learned a lot about how it plays. It's definitely different from the main map. Also, don't take this video as me saying I'm a god at PUBG or anything, I'm not at all. And you may not agree with everything I say and that's fine. I just wanted to make this video because I recently won a couple solos on Miramar and I thought the gameplay was really good. I think that's enough rambling though, let's get into the video. So my first tip is definitely what I think is the most important one for winning solos on the desert map and that's positioning. While this map is being the desert, positioning is a completely different story from on the normal map. The ground isn't flat at all in most areas. There's tons of hills and valleys, which are great for cover. I personally prefer being outside more than being in the buildings and in the cities. When you're in late game, it seems to be best to just stay along the zone and be quiet. Exposing your position towards the end of the match can really affect you. For example, pretend there's 10 people left and you have 30 seconds to get to the zone. Similar to my situation in this match, you might see an enemy in the distance, but don't shoot at him. Because if you decide to try and kill the guy, the majority of the other players will hear the shots, know where you are, and now you're in a bad situation. You still have to run to the zone, and the wall does insane damage at this point. Always make getting to the zone number one priority, because it will really screw you over if you don't. While you're moving, make sure to use the alt key as well to look around, because awareness is really important here, and if you have a big advantage if you manage to scope out where some players are. I like to avoid gunfights unless the enemy is really close and I have no choice. Only take out enemies when you know it's a guaranteed kill and it's safe to do so. A side tip here could also be to stay stacked up on boosters. Energy drinks and painkillers will help you run faster and heal more, two things that are almost essential towards the end of the game. My second tip is about movement. Getting around the desert map is also a lot different than it is on the normal map. Vehicles really aren't your best friend here. The terrain is so rough that you'll get around at a slower pace and you risk crashing and taking damage. Not to mention pretty much everyone around can see you. Obviously you have to go across the map to get to the zone or something, you're going to use a vehicle, but when it gets closer to the end of the game, I would definitely ditch it. Just stay on foot and go with the zone, it's a lot safer. When it comes down to the end, there is a lot of luck involved, but if you're unlucky and the next zone is far away, you're going to have to run and you risk getting shot at. But if you're already in the zone, I would stay where you are and just scope out the area. If you're in the situation where you have to move, I would stay crouched and slowly move while trying to like stay hidden around the hills and valleys. This isn't the other map, so sadly you can't go prone or crawl in grass and stuff. But there's also not a lot of bushes or trees to hide around. Terrain's really your only use of cover here, unless you have some buildings. So try to use it to your best advantage. You can see in my gameplay I was making sure to do this. Try your best to stay stacked up on boosters. This also goes with moving around. My third tip involves the actual combat and player interaction in general. So if you want to have a chance at the end game on Miramar, you're going to want to have a scope that's better than a red dot. It's likely that the end zone will just be somewhere in the middle of the desert, and you and your enemies will be lurking around the terrain. You could probably do with the two times, but the four times is definitely ideal. It will give you the best opportunity at kills during those last 10 people. I would also recommend having a submachine gun with a red dot or holographic for when you have to rush an enemy. You can shoot people from farther distances with your AR and go full auto with your SMG when you rush people close up. It's really a different playing field every game, so you want to try and be prepared for every situation that's possible. I can't tell you exactly what to do here at the end game, but I can get some tips. Depending on how much gear you have, choose wisely on what you do. If you have a stacked gun and are all boosted up with first aid kits to spare, engaging in fights isn't a bad idea. However, if you don't have many meds and limited ammo, you might want to try and avoid combat. Just keep your cool and think very carefully when you're making decisions. Freaking out is the worst thing you can do and it'll throw off your aim and drastically decrease your chances of winning. Alright, I think that's going to be about it for this video. I know it was pretty short, but it did take a while to make, so if any of the tips did help you out at least a little bit, a like would be greatly appreciated. These are the three things that I think are most important to think about while you're playing on Miramar. Also, if you guys want to see any more PUBG content, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you have any wins or whatever. For the next video, it'll be on Call of Duty because as I'm sure most of you know, the Resistance event has started and there's tons of new content. But yeah, anyways, thanks so much for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.